Okay, welcome back. Let's then talk about the related professions in financial industry. So we already talked about the buy side and sell side. They're the largest parties and the, uh, the players in the financial markets. They create and trade the financial assets. We also talked about the financial assets. Now we talk about a lot of service, uh, different professions that provide additional services at the buy side and sell side, the investors and um, the, the financial asset creators um, needs. The first very important services exchanges. If you create the financial assets, you need somewhere to trade these financial assets. So NYSE, NASDAQ, they trade the stocks. LSE, London Stock Exchange, Hong Kong Stock Exchange, they trade the stocks. But not only stocks. For example, commodities, they need some platform to be traded. Futures, options, they need some platform to be traded. For example, IC Intercontinental Exchange or LIFFE, London International Financial um, Options and Futures Exchange. And the largest futures and commodities trading group in the world, CME Group, Chicago Merchandise Exchange. Okay. Some exchanges, they also trade Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. So different exchanges, they provide different platforms to trade. You can think about them as Alibaba's Taobao. So Taobao provides you a platform for buyers and sellers, different buyers and sellers to trade different kinds of products. So they are providing, these exchanges providing, uh, they are providing the platforms to trade different kinds of financial assets for different buyers and sellers. Another type of service is provided by the credit rating agencies. Uh, three largest agencies are Standard & Poor's, Moody's, and Fitch. I, I didn't list the Fitch here. <coughs> so what do they do? When you want to buy the bond and stocks, you want to do a lot of investigation, right? As an investor, as, as investor you, you, you want to do the uh, the, the 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 investment of the of this financial target, the financial assets, and you need to do the investigation. And another person, another investor, he probably wants to do the investigation himself. But there were so many investors. A lot of investors say, "Hey, we don't have so much energy and time, and and it's so costly to do investigation for one financial asset." For example. If I want to buy the Greek government bonds, how do I really do the whole assessment and evaluation for the Greek governments or the financial reports? How do we do this? We can't. So, credit rating agencies, they provide this service. Say, save your money. We do it. You pay money to us. And we do the evaluation and we provide our rating report to all of you to save your money. Consulting firms, for example, Boston, uh, Boston Consulting Group, McKinsey are the largest two ones. Uh, consulting firms provide um, consulting services to the firms, different kind of firms. For example, I'm a firm and I want to do the IPO, but I don't know like where I should do the IPO. Should I, should I list my company in Hong Kong or in London? Um, is Goldman Sachs good or should I, should I find some local big Chinese investment bank? I don't know. I want some consulting firm to help me. Or the corporate reorganization. Okay. So the consulting firms send people to help the company to, uh, to, to figure out a lot of uh, things that they probably haven't realized. Um, I by no means say they're not good. They're good. They're very professional. But consulting firms have another very useful use for the firms. Usually the consulting firms, they do not just provide consulting service. 
they provide another service for the political fight between the managers and the firms. For example, I'm a manager in this firm and I'm powerful. There is another group of powerful managers in the firm. I think our company's next step is to to, to do IPO. The other group thinks that we they, we should use the money. We should still keep our company private and use the money to invest in some useful area. And But I don't think that area is useful. I don't think big data is the future. I think we should do IPO and do more capital expenditure and uh, forget about the big data. We should outsource it. Invest instead of investing in big data ourselves. So we have a political fight. We have different ideas about how this, where this company should go in the future. So what do we do? I find a consulting firm. I say, use your resource. Find all the evidence to support my ideas, to support my argument. Of course, the other group will find another consulting group to support their argument. Okay, so they also provide this service. There is a very special, specialized uh, consulting firm called economic consulting firms. For example, Cornerstone is very large um, um, player, large economic consulting firm. In the U.S., there are, there are a lot of very, very complicated lawsuit cases. For example, whether a merger and acquisition case should be made. Whether after this merger and acquisition, this firm, this acquired firm, will be a monopoly that potentially violates the antitrust law. So it's really difficult to tell because all of this involve a lot of very complicated finance and economic calculations. So in the court, they want to find some firms, the very, very professional consulting firms, to make the calculation. Of course, there are, this is also political. For example, I'm a firm, and I want to acquire another firm, but the government is suing me because they say, like, after after this uh, merger and acquisition, I will be the monopoly. Probably I will be a monopoly and get more money, but. I still want to make the acquisition. How do I prove to the court that I would not be a monopoly after this MNA merger and acquisition? So I find the economic consulting firm. I say, hey, can you make the calculation and prove that no, we are, we'll, we will still be uh, uh, good. This industry will still be very competitive. We will not be a monopoly. Make the calculations. Of course, the other party will find another re other reasons, other uh, economic consulting firms to make the calculation, and the judge will make the decision. When we talk about the creation of the financial assets, you know, the underwriting process needs a lot of auditing to see whether your financial reports are real. Well, it's, it's pretty common that the companies to, to do the IPO, they fabricated some. Um, they fabricate some of their financial reports statements. Uh, so you need the auditing firms to check the whether they are real. KPMG, PwC, Ernest and Young, Deloitte. They are uh, four largest firms. Um, there was another big one. The the other big one went bankrupt after their customer IRA went bankrupt. Uh, Aaron was um, was in financial uh, really bad financial situation, but and the there the, the investors of Aaron suffered a lot of loss, so the investors sued Aaron and also the auditing firm, and that large that large auditing firm went bankrupt after Aaron got bankrupt. So the auditing firms have to be very careful to check the the auditing number the, the financial numbers to make it to make sure that they are largely or they are they are just not largely they are precisely real. There are also a lot of legal firms. Um, in every uh, 
transaction. You need to sign the contract. The contract. Who provides? The, who prepare the contracts? The lawyers. Okay, the lawyers. So they are related professions. Now we talk about the regulators in the next uh, in the next part.